What's up, YouTube gamers? Young Soul dropping another video, and I hope everybody had a good uh, holidays. If you celebrated, if you don't, hopefully you did, had time with your family and all that good stuff. Got some good uh, food in you and all that good stuff. If you don't celebrate, if you do, hopefully you got good presents and good time with family. Anyway, this video is about the biggest, most pure corporate slaves in the world have to be the Xbox fanboy. And here's what I mean. Here's what I mean. So as you're looking right now, you see a guy, some random dude, don't even know who he is, um, just saying, just got my third Xbox One, he he, happy holidays. He sends this out to um, a, several Xbox fan, YouTube fanboys. I think most people know who the, the U, Xbox YouTube uh, fanboys are. And then a couple, uh, it looks like two Xbox executives, you know, just got my third Xbox One. Now, I respond to this just as a joke, just as a joke, and not thinking not not thinking much of it. I, you know, kind of put something clever like, you know, there's 5,000 Xbox owners. There's just like a lot of Xboxes sold because each one of them own three to seven Xbox Ones. And it was just, and that was it. The math doesn't even add up to whatever millions. It, don't, it only adds up to like 35,000 Xbox. But I was just making a joke. That was all it was. And so, you know, about, I look, you know, five, ten minutes later, I checked Twitter again. The guy responded to me. And, I, you know, me and him are kind of debating back and forth. And then I kind of leave it alone because I'm checking, you know, y'all know uh, on Sunday even Sundays, I'm checking my fantasy football. I'm in the championship. Um, looks like I'm going to win. And, um, anyway, I'm checking that and watching games for the next several, like, I'd say about an hour, hour and a half, two hours. And I go back to look at Twitter, you know, after some of the games end. And I got 40, um, notifications right here. You're only seeing four, but 40 notifications. Um, and it's mostly Xbox fanboys. Oh, he, that's a hater. He's a hater. Uh, he's just mad. He doesn't have games to play. You know, all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, why in the world is these Xbox fanboys going at me so hard? This is just a random joke. I, I'm sorry I didn't get the right screen cap. I'm not, I'm lazy. I'm not going to get the right screen. I'm probably not going to get the right screen cap. But I'm going to go ahead and link you the, um my 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 twitter thing so you could follow the whole thing you could actually look at the whole conversation and um i start wondering why these xbox fanboys are going after me so hard you know on this joke that i made and something else started clinging something else started to become clear or i should say something else two questions started to emerge that I started wondering. I look back at the original tweet. This is why I have it up here. Just got my third Xbox One. Now, two things stand out to me that are completely foreign to me and most PlayStation owners I know. Number one, you have three Xbox Ones. Why in the world do you need three of the exact same product? I don't get, get that. Now, I mean, hey, maybe you... I can, Maybe I can see two, like, because you got one in the living room, but your wife or girlfriend wants to watch TV, so you got another one in, in, in your game room or bedroom or basement or whatever the case may be. I can kind of see that. Fine. I get that. But three, I mean, what? You need one in You need one in the bathroom, so when you're doing your business there, you need to play two? I mean, I mean, I, I, that's just a joke again. But, 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 but the bigger point, more than just, got your third one and keep in mind ladies and gentlemen he's not the only one who's done this there are several there are a lot of xbox fanboys who talk about only three or four or five or six xbox ones and my and this gets to my second point why do xbox owners feel the need to have to announce that they have multiple xboxes like one of the comments in this whole thread someone was like yeah i bet you playstation owners have multiple there's playstation owners that have multiple ps4s and i'm like there might be i i responded to him by saying yeah there might be but guess what they don't feel the need to have to announce it as if they're looking for a pat on the head or a gold star or or you know what i'm saying or a doggy treat or something 
I've, in fact, I've never seen, I've, first of all, I don't know of any PlayStation owners who own multiple PS4s. But if they do own multiple PS4s, I don't know about it because they don't go around announcing that they own multiple PS4s. Okay? They don't do that because they don't feel the need to get a, a virtual or a digital pat on the head from Aaron Greenberg or, or Phil Spencer or one of these Xbox fam, YouTube fanboys. They don't feel the need to get their uh, 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 attaboy or good job or, or anything. They don't feel the need to do that. Whereas these Xbox, and like I said, he's not the only one, but these Xbox fanboys, they're out there doing this. And I'm looking like, why is it that they feel the need to tell the anybody that they got it especially tell the executives that they bought this this to me that's that's why i say this is the biggest most pure version of corporate slavery when you go buy a game at, or a console at retail and then you have to tell phil spencer and aaron Greenberg that you just bought it i me and my wife just went out and bought ourselves a christmas present because we had to go get a new washer and dryer we just got a whirlpool whirlpool washer and dryer um, we didn't feel the need to email them and let them know we bought it. We did not feel the need to find their Twitter hashtag, their Twitter, you know, name at Whirlpool or whatever it is. I don't even know what it is, but it, we didn't feel the need to have to, you know, tweet them and say, hey, and or the, the CEO of Whirlpool. I don't even know who the hell that is, nor do I care. Okay. And it's not going to make me enjoy my washer and dryer any better. Because my washer and dryer aren't going to be faster or more powerful now that I've emailed or tweeted the CEO of Whirlpool to let them know we bought their product. I don't know of anyone else who has to email or tweet the CEOs of companies to let them know they bought their product. Looking, lo looking for a congratulatory pat on the head or some garbage like that. That's why I tell you, they are the biggest corporate slaves on the planet. I've never, I've never seen it from any company. Unless you personally have met the CEO. Like, I stood there, shook hands with him. He held my baby and took a picture with my, with my child or something like that. I, don't, I think that sounds a bit creepy in, in and of itself. But anyway, let me know what you think. What type of corporate slave nonsense have you seen from these Xbox fanboys? Let me know in the comment section and I'll holler back.